This is Thomas Lawson for SE Scoops, and today I am excited because we are just weeks away from the UK, from the return of Impact Wrestling to the UK for the upcoming Invasion Tour. And today I am speaking to three people who are going to be on that tour Flash Morgan Webster, Mark Andrews, and Danny Luna of Subculture. Guys, how are we all doing today? All good. Thank you, my friend. How are you, Tom? Great. I'm good. I'm good. I'm a bit under the weather. I've got a bit of a sniffle. So if you see me sneezing, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll, I'll live. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I'm excited because obviously Impact Wrestling, you're coming back to the UK for the first time in close to eight years. All of you are from the UK. What's it like for you all to come back to the UK with Impact Wrestling's first tour back? It is an absolute dream, Tom. I'm not going to lie. I, I did the tours uh, seven years ago. Oh, so, so, seven and eight years ago. So I did two of them. Oh. And obviously, I was only a young greenhorn back then. I was a rookie in the business. And now, I see, if I see Flash laughing at me there. A young greenhorn. I was fresh into the biz. So obviously, I was a little bit less experienced at the time. And now, I, you know, I get to come back not only with two of my best friends in Flash Morgan Webster and Danny Luna, but... We get to come back as as kind of well, former tag team champions. It feels like we're going into this tour back to the UK. It kind of is like a, a little bit of a homecoming, it feels like. Um, and it's been me and Flash used to wrestle in Coventry all the time when we were younger, like way early in our career. So it, it'll be nice for us to go back and do a show in a much bigger capacity, you know, a bigger platform uh, now so many years later. So, I, yeah, I'm personally buzzing. How about you, Flash? Yeah, as you just said, really... Um... Coventry was my first booking outside of Wales. So that was my first ever booking. So to be able to return there, as Mark said, former Impact Wrestling World Tag Team Champions, it means the absolute world. And now we get to uh, bring Danny Luna along with us as well for the ride, which is uh, which is great. And I know that she's super excited about this tour as well. Absolutely. I mean, we um, it's weird we all have this Coventry connection because the first place I ever wrestled outside of my training school was Coventry as well. No way! No. No. There must be a like proper little breeding ground of wrestling in Coventry. Um, I didn't realise we all owed so much of our careers to it, but um, we get to do two nights there. Yeah. Because yeah. um, you're, uh, you're hitting Glasgow first on October the 26th, and then we're heading, you're heading down to Newcastle on the 27th, and that's going to be the Turning Point show. And then you've got Coventry 28th and 29th. So, yeah, it's going to be a good show. But the thing is, is that we're all Brits. We know a British crowd can be, let's say, rowdy, to say the least, a bit vocal. Do you think the rest of the roster are ready to have what could be their first experience with a British crowd? Oh, yeah, that is true. We can be a bit rowdy when we want to be. I think especially up in Glasgow, they're, start, they're throwing <laughs> them in the deep end. You know what I mean? Oh. At least they're starting in Glasgow and they'll get used to it very quickly. Uh, where would you guys say is the, is the the will be the rowdiest crowd on this tour? Um, Newcastle has a good crowd. They've got the scene is really built. I know that they're, uh, I know that North Wrestling's really helped in conjunction with uh, doing this this tour and stuff like that. And that crowd's really good up there. So yeah, and to be honest with you, I'm kind of hoping that uh, if we do get a rematch for, and we should get a rematch for Impact Wrestling World Tag Team Championships, I'm hoping that uh, that f the, the fan base will kind of throw the tag champs off, and it will give us the uh, the winning formula to become in uh, two time tag team champions. And you're talking about like winning the World Tag Team Titles, the Impact World Tag Team Titles. I know recently during your reign, you got to defend the titles in Wales, Flash and Mark, like in your native Wales. I mean, that must have been just like wild for you both to be able to defend the titles in Wales. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Sorry, I thought Flash was going to jump in there. But yeah, uh, incredible. I mean, we love performing in Wales, right? That's our favorite. That's, that's, that's the favorite place. To perform in a few, a few weeks ago, we got to perform in uh, Flash's hometown as well, which is a slightly rarer, right? Yeah, so we're like we we got to defend it twice in Wales, once in Mark's hometown, once in my hometown, which was honestly a dream come true. If you said to me a year ago, "Hey, like you're going to become an Impact Wrestling World Tag Team Champion," I would have been like, "Oh, you know." First off, I would be like, mm, "Really?" But also, that's really, really cool. But they went, "Oh, not only that." you soon be with Mark and you'll get to defend it once in Cardiff in his hometown and then in Ebervale in your hometown. I'd be like, that's not going to happen. There's no way that's going to happen. And it did. So, yeah, it was absolutely incredible. Now, I want to go from talking about the Impact World Tag Team titles to a potential Impact Knockouts Championship reign. Danny, you've shared the ring with a lot of like the top names in Impact so far. You've actually tagged with Impact Knockouts World Champion Trinity. When are we seeing you going for the title? I mean... 
is there not a perfect time but the UK tour? That home field advantage, you know, Trini, Trini, me and her are good friends. I'm sure she'd understand. Um, throw us a bone and I think I could pull a big upset. And like you said, with those rowdy crowds behind us, I think we might throw them off. And I think we could be walking out of this tour with subculture holding all the gold again. You definitely Hell have yeah. like a home field advantage. like because. But it's not just Impact Wrestling talent who are going to be on the show. I know New Japan's Will Ospreay is going to be at Turning Point. Uh, I mean, what's it mean? Because he's one of the biggest stars going right now. What's it mean for Impact to have him work in this show? And could we see more of Will in the future? Because I know he's working Bound for Glory. I know he's working at Turning Point. Are we going to see more of the aerial assassin in Impact Wrestling? I think that, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people consider Will Ospreay one of the best in the world. And I think that, you know, he has his, his, he has his pick at the moment of where he wants to be, Japan, America, Canada, anyway. And he's decided on this trip to wherever he's going to end up in the destination, he's decided to call into Impact not once but twice. So I think that shows that he's watching the product, he's liking what, the pro- what Impact are putting out. And, like, he, he's saying to everyone else, hey, if you think I'm the guy and you think I'm one of the best in the world... I'm going to this place because I think it's one of the best kept secrets in, in, in wrestling today. So come and watch Impact Wrestling. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just so excited to see Osprey in action. I'm excited because I've never been to an Impact show. I'm really excited to going there. Uh, there's a great roster you've had uh, announced. And I'm, I'm wanting to talk dream matches now. Like, Subculture, great group. Mark, Flash, you're a great tag team. If you could face any tag team in history from Impact Wrestling, past or present, Ooh. Danny, if you could face any of the knockouts ever, I mean, obviously Impact had a great knockouts division. It's what put Impact on the map. Who are you stepping in the ring with? So I think that me and Flash are gonna say the same person. So I think we should. You should count a one, two, three, Tom, and we'll say oh, it at the oh, same it's time, like, oh, it's some, and we'll like see if we say this. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. The same team is that what we want to see? Yeah. So, who's our dream opponent from pa- past or present in Impact? Let's see if this works. I hope okay, it does. we're going to see if this works. Anything can happen when you're live. Three, two, one. The Hardy, Hardy Boys. boys. Oh. Yes. <laughs> that was great. That was that oh, was gold. I'm, I'm glad this should be going out me. live right now. This show. <laughs> Get it on Twitch. Uh, so the Hardy Boys. I mean, obviously former Impact World Tag Team champions. What's making you say the Hardys? I think the Hardys, uh, for me and Flash, are just a huge inspiration. As, as as for, you know, for any kind of cruiserweight tag team, you know, high-flying tag team, we've imitated their kind of their stunts from ladders for for, the, for years, really. You know, Flash does a pretty sweet swanton bomb. I'd love to see him bust that one out on Jeff Hardy. Uh, and I think, you know, it's just, for me, it's been a dream match ever since I started wrestling. And I'm sure it's the same for you, right, Flash? Yeah, definitely. Like, um, I'm not going to lie. Like this build up to uh, Impact One Thousand, like we weren't on the show and we were the you know the tag team champions just a few weeks before, and then we heard that the uh, the Dudley Boys were you know Team Three D were going to be there, and we were like, oh my god, we could be the Hardy Boys in this match. Like that is literally <laughs> what our thought process was. But uh, yeah, as Mark said, like when we come to there's that big that big moment from uh, me and Mark when we were in WWE when we had that the the dive off the ladder together. And that kind of us was a homage to uh, the Jeff Hardy moment from uh, WrestleMania 17. So, like, as Mark said, we love being in ladder matches. We love high risk. They really are who we kind of, you know, model ourselves off when it comes to being a tag team. So I'm so glad that me and Mark both said the Hardy boys there. I think that, you know, we didn't doubt. I think Mark was so confident in that. I just I, doubted. I thought, should I say a different team just to mess with him? But, yeah, I was worried you were going to say like, different and you'd have to split up the team. Like, I don't want to be <laughs> more, more the team to bring up. <laughs> uh, Danny, question for you. Any of the knockouts throughout history, past or present, who are you stepping in the ring with? Uh, mine has to be Mickey James. Ooh, oh, um, I mean... it, would, it would be the best. It very much almost happened. She was brought over for a Rev Pro show recently. And we just didn't end up in the same match. And I was so heartbroken. Um, because she's one of these people I feel like has transcended so many generations, you know, it was like she was in WWE, she was in impact and throughout like my whole growing up and watching wrestling phases, she was in every single one. Um, and I just think that would be the most awesome full circle moment for me as a pro wrestler. And as still as a fan of her to just 
still go with her. And she's still got it. Like, she's better than she's ever been. And it would be such a pleasure. Now, we're talking dream matches. One match I'd be interested in seeing. I I doubt it'll happen on this tour, but you never know down the line. Mark Andrews versus Flash Morgan Webster. It'd be the match to end all matches. It could be the end of subculture. I think the world might implode. Yeah, I mean, well, I, I, I'm just—I don't know if I could predict who'd win. So I, I, I think Mark and Flash, you're both gonna be a bit biased when you're thinking <laughs> who's gonna win. Danny, I'm gonna have to turn to you. Who, who, who would you put your money on? <laughs> this may be the end of subculture as we know it. Or be, Mark's got the muscle. <laughs> who's who's winning, Danny? <laughs> who's um, winning, Daddy? Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um... I don't want to pick, but I will be the special guest referee if needs be. It must be and like I picking promise your to call child, it straight like... down the line. Oh. I think I, I I would love to do that. that. That match has happened many times before, but in front of much, much smaller crowds in small Welsh towns uh, in front of about 10 people. Um, so if it can happen on a big scale, I mean, you, I'll, put you, out, you, I'll put out the challenge should. right now, Flash. You say many times, I, I've got a pretty good memory. I'm pretty sure one-on-one singles matches between me and you has only happened four times oh. in the entire time we have been. And I'm pretty sure we are two to two. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, you, you need to have the rubber match now. Danny, you could be the ref. Like, yeah. I hope you'd call it down the middle. The I could play the match. Up. Uh, I mean, you talk, you, uh, Mark, you talk about having these matches in Wales. Impact's obviously coming back to the UK for this tour. You're not going to Wales. Could we see Impact? Because Wales has just been put so on the map, especially over the past year in pro wrestling. It seems like everybody's wanting to get to Wales. Could we see Impact come to Wales in the near future? You know what? I really, really hope so. I know back in the day they'd um, they do shows at the Motor Point Arena, which is like a bit you know a, a bit big arena down here in Wales. And I know I know that there'd be the demand for it. We have such incredible wrestling fans here in Wales. You know, we had Clash at the Castle last year. Uh, the, the independent scene is incredible down here, and the talent is amazing. So I, I really would love to see it. Um, and I think, you know, seeing as we were the first Welsh tag team champions in Impact, maybe that warrants it a little bit as well. So um, fingers crossed we can be we can be the reason that they come down to Wales because, um, yeah, it would be incredible. I really, really, my fingers are, are double crossed for that to happen. I really hope it can. Flash, I mean, I'm sure you'll be up for a match in, uh, a show in Wales. Yeah, like... Uh maybe maybe we've kind of floated that idea for the next time they come over maybe maybe not but uh it is something that when we saw this tour was announced uh again this has been in the pipeline for a long time so when people have been saying to us why are they not going to wales why didn't that happen it's like hey this has been in the pipeline for a long time way before we came back to impact but uh, now we're here i'd be lying if we're uh if we're not in uh, scott demore's you're kind of going hey go to wales hey go to wales hey go to wales <laughs> and i'll i'll tell you right now scott demore's a little afraid of me so I'll uh, <laughs> I'll tell him, hey, you go to Wales or there'll be trouble, Scott. I mean, he's got to pay you attention if you just keep if, just casually threatening him, like. Yeah, that's uh, actually it. And, and, hey, oh, yeah, I'll tell him. I'll, I'll make sure we go to Wales. So, I mean, we've talked about Wales. We've talked about the shows that are coming to England, they're coming to Scotland. But you're all now competing in the United States. You've all moved to the United States. I mean, that's got to be, I mean, it's a massive move. Like, what's been the biggest culture shock, would you say, from going from Wales or Danny in your case England over to the US, like. So I'll tell you this right now, Tom. Although we do a lot of work over uh, in Canada and in the past we've done a lot in America, we're still based here in the UK. Oh. So me and so I so and ironically, um, although Danny initially from England and me and Flash from Wales, they've swapped. So you've got Flash <laughs> now based in England, the traitor, and you've got uh, Danny down in Wales, the traitor. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, although we work a lot out, out, you know, stateside and over in Canada and and well, all around the place, really, we are actually based here in the UK. But I can tell you right now, if you need to know, the biggest culture shock moving from Wales to uh, England was that uh, you know they speak really funny and uh, nobody's got a sense of humour <laughs> and uh, they, they just don't have Welsh cakes here. So that's that's the biggest funny thing. Oh man, you, you love you can't have a go without a Welsh cake, like. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just checking my notes here. Uh, yeah, so obviously, you guys, like you mentioned, 
former Impact World Tag Team Champions. When are we going to... Like, have you discussed going for singles gold? Because, I mean, obviously, there's the X-Division Championship out there. There's the Digital Media Championship out there. There's the Impact World Championship out there. Like, have you ever, guys... Have you guys talked about going for singles gold down the line? I think I know... Um, for, well, for, for me, the X-Division Championship is something that's been on my on my bucket list for, well, forever, really. You know, I grew up watching that championship and it kind of revolutionised the style that I love. Um, for me, I would love one day to hold that exhibition championship. And I, I, I mean, me and Flash, very similar styles, why we work so well as a team. So I imagine it's the same for you, right, Flash? Yeah, like, again, uh, social media championship, I'd love to have stuff like that. But like, as Mark said, that X division, it kind of, you know, changed wrestling, not just like, not just uh, wrestling and impact, but wrestling over the world. The style changed. And thanks to those, you know, AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, uh, Motsi Machine Guns, Christopher Daniels, like all those guys, you know, forged that division to a point where like the whole scene of break- of wrestling changed completely. So I'd be lying, to- I'd be lying if I said that that wasn't something I would want. I mean, seeing either you, maybe I'm biased being from the UK. Seeing either you with any gold, I'm big up for it. Like, let's get some title gold, bag of subculture. Uh, so what it is is obviously we've talked about the fans. You've got an incredible VIP experience uh, for the show. Uh, Mark, it's been 10 years or so since you first debuted in Impact, maybe a bit less, because I know you won British Boot Camp Season 2. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Like, what's been the big differences, would you say, between the Impact that you joined and the Impact that you're part of today, would you say? I'll be honest, it's funny. It, it, it feels like a completely different company, but it still has that same high morale backstage and it still has that that, that same kind of connecting dna so uh, for me i mean i guess it's the difference in uh my time there before and now is is that i'm a completely different wrestler in person you know it was about seven years in between my uh my two my two different kind of stretches of impact um but obviously it's changed in management and uh there's lots of different talent there still lots of familiar faces which is nice you know it was nice walking back into a locker room and seeing so many friends who i hadn't seen in about seven years but then also seeing so many people who i'd met on the indies over the years you know guys like mike bailey and jonathan gresham who they weren't weren't at impact back when i was there back in the day but i've met them over the years on the indies and it's great to see that well you know impact is getting all the best talent from around the world so they've all ended up there um so yeah in terms of the difference i i even back when I was there before, it was a fantastic place to be backstage. Everyone loved it. Great atmosphere. But now I would say it's even better. And um, I'd go ahead and even say that it's maybe the best locker room and the best environment I've ever been in in my 17 year career. Uh, it really is what all the wrestlers say it is. It's, it's a fantastic, fantastic environment. I mean, I'm just so excited to show. Like I said, it's going to be my first time at an Impact Wrestling show. I'm so excited to go there. Impact Wrestling are returning to the United Kingdom next month. Newcastle, Coventry, Glasgow. Tickets are on sale right now. VIP experiences are on sale. Uh, And guys, thank you so much for this time. Uh, Thank you for answering my questions. Thank you on behalf of me, on behalf of Effie Scoops. Just thank you so much for today. Thank you, my friend. It was great chatting to you, man. All right. And we will see you all very soon. Bye.